Welcome to the Russell Brown Show here in Maui, Hawaii. I'm gonna show you tips and techniques here on the iPhone. Learn how to capture it right, then learn how to process it right. Let's get going. I'm here in a super location. We've got everything going for it. Moving water here in the foreground, and we have this amazing EO Valley needle in the background. So I've got my composition exactly the way I like it. A really dramatic lighting here. The needle in the background, super bright. The foreground, dark. I'm gonna go ahead and tap here on the foreground and get just the right exposure. We have the live view on, take the picture. Then I'm gonna tap on the needle in the background. I'm gonna darken it down by tapping with the iPhone app and take a second photo. I'm creating my own dynamic range by taking two images that I'll combine together inside of Photoshop on the iPad. And check this out. This is the tip and the technique of the day. In the live view mode, inside the Apple iPhone camera application, I swipe up. What? Who knew that was there? <laughs> and you can loop your photo, bounce it, but the one we're interested in today, long exposure. Really nice water in motion. Be sure and set it to long exposure, then open up your images inside of Lightroom because Lightroom will see the last moment that you selected here. You have everything you need to really take a great photo of moving water with live view and the long exposure mode. I'm only shooting with an iPhone everywhere I go. And in fact, I'm so iPhone crazy that my producer, Tim Robinson, is even shooting this entire show with an iPhone. Look at that gadget. Look at all those things. Wow. Don't forget, you can learn more from videos like this on my Lightroom YouTube Russell Brown playlist. You'll also find the tips and techniques I use to create many of the images you've seen in this video.